my GCSE biology syllabus statement 5.4 and we're looking at pest control using pesticides and biological control. This is 5.4a and we will limit this discussion to the pesticides. So first of all where we have large fields of crops all of the same type. This is called a monoculture. These could be fields of wheat, fields of barley, potatoes, rice. And where we have a monoculture, they tend to be very susceptible to pests. So these could be a variety of different types of living thing, and they are going to use the crop as their own food source. And in doing so, this is going to reduce the productivity of farming. So we would have a, a loss of food and financial impact on the farmer. To overcome this, one pot potential thing that can be done is to use pesticides. Now these are chemicals. If we look at the pros and cons of using pesticides, these are chemicals which are designed to kill the pest. So if we make a comparison And on this side, we'll have the advantages, pros, and on this side, we'll make a, com a comparison and have the disadvantages or the negative impact. So first of all, pesticides are chemicals. And this makes them easy to obtain. second point is that they're easy to apply. It's not difficult for the farmer to spray these pesticides on his crop, on his fields. And the third thing is that they are very effective. The downside is that many of these chemicals are toxic. That is to say that they will kill uh, other plants and animals other than the pests and indeed may be harmful to humans. A second feature is the concept of bioaccumulation in which the pesticide builds up through the food chain causing problems for animals in the higher trophic levels. Uh, the famous example of which is DDT. And the final third point is that mutation in the pest often leads to resistance so that the pesticide must be applied in higher concentrations therefore it's more toxic or indeed it no longer works and we have to find an alternative pe pesticide. 